Joffrey Renly Rob Stark are all thieves. They'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Citadel with me, Grandmaster Stitch, where we're going back to Crusader Kings 3 for the start of a new series, doing something very different to what I'd normally play. Now on CK2 I did loads in and around all of Europe, but I never really touched Africa or Asia, and especially with all the new areas added into Africa and all the split up provinces and stuff, I really want to delve into that. And as it's one of the characters on the main bookmarks, I thought that we'd have a go at playing as Dorama Dora. I don't know if I'm saying that wrong, I probably am, I really do apologise. I know nothing about this woman at all, and I'm really looking forward to learning about it though. This looks like a really fun and interesting playthrough, so hopefully it should be good. So. She is of the Dora dynasty. As the last Magigia of Dora, Dorama is a symbol of the old ways of the Horsa people. Her new husband, Bayajadar, originally from Iraq, represents change as more and more outsiders flock to the Horsa land, bringing their strange faiths and cultures with them. Dorama is set to go down in history as the last Magigia, but does she have to be? Start. Okay, so I probably absolutely slaughtered the pronunciations there. I'm terrible at pronunciations as it is without such exotic names and trying to pronounce them, so I do apologise. But um, as I said, I know nothing about this start date and this area at all. So for those of you who do, I'm sure some of you will. There's a lot of um, great historians in my viewers, so I know that you'll be able to teach me and show me the way and teach me um, stuff about this woman and the area that she's raiding in. Um, looking at it, is it probably around... Where Nigeria is? Would it be around that area? It looks maybe around the Nigeria area. So we've got this one bit of land, but we've got several provinces in here by the looks of it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. So we've got four baronies here. Barony of Zinda, the tribe of Dora, the tribe of Cassina, and the barony of Mirandi. So that's not too bad. Decent supply limits here. I don't know much about the woman has said we've got a, no gold really we've got a bit of prestige and pieta so that'll be interesting i know nothing about the religion so we'll have a look into her so we've got high chiefess uh high chiefess duramara of cano she's 25 we do have a son um bowo okay which is interesting we've got really good diplomacy 23 10 marshal 12 stewardship one intrigue 13 learning and eight prowess now, I will be role-playing as I normally do. We'll only do things that would make sense to her traits and um, anything like that with all of her choices. Even if it won't be the best decision game-wise, sometimes I always try and stick to the traits. So if you're new here, that will explain if I make some weird decisions. Um, but we're just, which is a very good trait, as we know. It gives our vassal opinion a good opinion of hers. Um, opinion of just characters is up. We don't like arbitrary characters, though, apparently. Um, we are honest. Another great um, trait to have as a diplomat. To diplomacy minus intrigue but it does make people have a good opinion of us which is good it's also very good for our religion as well so the bori people am i saying that right bora bora um they have a good opinion of that so that gives us good pieta we're trusting gives us more diplomacy as well and it makes our lieges and our vassals like us which is great we're a charismatic negotiator which is awesome um we're a mystic which is very interesting nice um which is good for our religion as well. So this religion sounds like it could be very fun and a very mysterious tribal religion, hopefully, which would be really fun to play as, as I've never really experienced that on Crusader Kings. And we're also a diplomat, which gives us amazing diplomacy as well. So it's obviously going to be no surprise what lifestyle choice we're going to go for. We've already got the diplomacy lifestyle, so of course we're going to stick with that. Um, she's on the diplomat tree, which is cool. She's already got three unlocked, thoughtful, which... Um, Opinion gain from send a gift plus 100%. Wow, that's awesome. Um, Ducal conquest. Title creation cost is 20% less, which is perfect as well. And defensive negotiations. So we get 15% opinion from uh, fellow vassals. Independent ruler opinion plus 15. And we can propose one alliance without a marriage. Nice. That's really interesting. Right, so what should we go with for our lifestyle focus? So we have foreign affairs, which will give us plus three diplomacy. We have majesty focus, which will give us plus one diplomacy and prestige. And then we have family focus. Even if we do not choose them, those closest to us are the most important. It gives us two diplomacy and plus 20 fertility. I'm going to go for the family focus. Why not? That sounds like it could be interesting. So we'll go with that. Perfect. So that's that sorted out. She does look really interesting. I'm loving the clothes. The clothes style is really nice. Who's our heir? Our heir is our half-sister, Shawata. 
Okay, and she's unmarried. She is in our court, so we could do with getting her married. Is it, um, we do have a son. Is it a, more of a succession where it goes to women down here then? Because that's really cool. That would be interesting. I know gender law is equal. All in all children inherit equally as well. And our designated heir is our sister. Okay, interesting. Have a look at some other stuff that we can do. So we are married, but our heir is unmarried. Um, primary heir of the wrong dynasty. Okay, let's have a look at our child. He's oh, he's only zero years old, so he's not got any traits or anything just yet. So we'll wait a little while, see how he starts to develop before we give him any um, any guardian. And he does have siblings, son of our sons of our husband, who both look pretty decent. Um, speaking of our husband, okay, so he's the high chief of this whole duchy here, which is interesting. So that gives us a decent alliance. Surely we already have the alliance and we won't have to actually ask for that. No, that's good. We can declare war on you. No, I don't think we'll do that. But he has a decent opinion of us. What's he like? He's humble, brave, ambitious, a skilled tactician, a master hunter, a strategist, and an adventurer. So that's interesting. I think he did say he was originally from Iraq, didn't it? So that's very interesting. That could be quite interesting. Um... So, our heir is unmarried. Let's have a look what we can get for you. Yes, of course, um, we want a matrimonial marriage. Um, we want one that's going to get us an alliance. Want one with the biggest alliance power that we can get. Well, well we don't want to marry someone that young. Who are you? Popo. Where are you from? If we just move this out of the way. Cross that off. Where? Where are you from, good sir? All the way down there. That's... A way away, but it's a whole area. That wouldn't be a bad alliance, to be fair. So, yes, we will go with you. Send proposal. Hopefully, he'll say yes. So, we're here just underneath the Sahara. I'm sure it's around Nigeria, which is interesting. We've got a lot of lands in and around the Sahara. A lot of lands here now in this west coast of Africa, which is awesome. So, let's have a look at the, the duchy titles around here. So, we're landed here, aren't we? So, I think we was. Dora, yeah, we've already got that, and that's a that is a duchy area. Then what is the kingdom title? Horse Husaland. So we want to try and get all of Husaland together. Then if we can first, that wants to be our first target. And what is the empire title here? Nice, Canum Aborna. Okay, interesting. So that's going to be really interesting. So we'll start small. We're a bit more of a diplomat, so we can go down the diplomacy line of expanding. Then we will try and do that. Um, we have got some issues that we can sort out. We can. Declare two wars. We can take a consort. Interesting. Well, that is interesting. Awesome. So, how many consorts can we take? Let's take you as a consort. This is a really interesting religion and culture. So, we'll take you as a consort. We can take more consorts. Um, let's look for some with some decent traits and stuff. There's not that many here. He's a champion. Hmm. You're paranoid, diligent, and fickle. So, no, I don't really like the look. What about you here? Um, lowborn, you're chaste, stubborn and gregarious, brave, greedy and arrogant, compassionate, content, craven. No, we'll just go with that one consort for now. And Shawata, yeah, we're already getting our sister married, so we don't need to worry about that. So, we're here. What claims do we have? So, do we have some claims? I'm going to have a look at the Bori religion. It's unreformed. So, it looks like we get some really cool stuff here. So... Virtue traits of virtue are possessed is a virtuous trait. That's awesome if we can get that. We actually get more piety and stuff from being possessed uh, and being a wise woman, a mystic, a miracle worker. So it's like a bit of a witch doctor voodoo sort of thing, um, which would be really cool. Oh, and there are quite a few holy sites around here. It would be quite cool if we could get those together and reform this. It said it was a dying religion, didn't it? So that would be really interesting. So, let's unpause, so we can let things actually start to happen. How much manpower do we have here? We have 1,013 men, which is cool. To the charming High Chiefess Durama of Kano, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Your sister Shawata and my brother Popo will be joined in holy matrimony. May Orison bless their union. Excellent. So, that should give us an alliance, shouldn't it? I think. It didn't come up with an alliance, but hopefully it will forge an alliance between us so they did go for alliance power so we own both of these lands then don't we they're both ours yes so what would be the first step this land doesn't look that powerful here gabir so we could expand into gabir kano is the land owned over by our husband 
But we don't want to go to war with him, of course. So he'll be our ally. So we've got a decent chunk of land here. So we could go for Gobir here, which only has 347 men at arms. So that's that's not bad. That should be a pretty easy province to take. I'm not going to go declare war straight away, though. I want to look into things a little bit more. What do we get in our culture? Um, your culture, part of the Central African group. Um, okay. We get uh, Satchel Horsemen. Can recruit cast Satchel Horsemen as men at arms. West African canoes. Um, okay, we can raid over sea. We can raid! Awesome. I didn't know that we had raiders. That makes things very interesting, that we can go out raiding. I absolutely love the raiding mechanics on CK3, so that's... That's pretty interesting if we can do that and start going out and raiding. But I think first, let's just try and go for a little bit of land grab. This looks like it's quite a vulnerable area. Quite weak compared to how many men do we have. We have 1,000 men, so we should probably be able to take that quite easy. For generations, Husserland has been ruled by the Magigia, a line of matri uh, matrinarchical rulers of which I am the latest. Um, our traditions have served as well. But the world is changing. The heroic deeds of my husband, Bayajidar, have earned him great wealth and respect. Though, as he hails from distant lands, his successor also portend great change for my people. Uh, my son, Bawa, is the apple of his father's eye. Though, as a mere babe, I wonder if he will identify more with the adventuring father or my own traditional legacy. Bawa must carry the traditions of the Horsa into a new age. Yes. Which will upset our husband, but we want to make sure that our culture and our religion doesn't die. So, of course, he's going to stick with what we want. We can let rid an announce war on announce war on two people. Who is the other one that we can announce war on? Kebi, and that's the one I already clicked, and Gabir. So that one that's close by. What can we do? We can conquer the Dutcher, conquer the Counter. Well, it's both the same, so we can go for conquer the Counter. It's only got a cost us fifty Pieter. Which is good. We've got a lot of pie there, so we'll go with that. And we'll go straight with this war, because it should be, hopefully, a pretty easy war for us to win. Um, we can call our allies. We've got two... Oh, we did get an alliance with um, those down south then, so that's good. But I don't think we're going to need to call up any allies for this. We should be more than okay. We've got more than three times their number. So let's march straight onto them. We will have a potential battle here. Much of it is like wasteland, isn't it? And desert land, um, savannah. So that'll be interesting. And here we go. Yeah, that's going to be a very easy battle. Battle of Gabir East. Um, and yeah, we've made very quick work of that. We've got superior quality troops and five champions. They've got elite quality with five champions. And yeah, that was a very easy victory for us. So let's march onto the tribe of Gabir now and get that under siege. A great victory. Let's have, I love how we can look into the details here. It's quite cool. So... Uh, we killed 72 people and we lost 85 people, which is... Oh, um, yeah, our levies killed 85. Okay, that's not too bad. And our champions killed 43 people without suffering any losses, which is awesome. And they killed 114 of their levies. That's awesome. And they killed one of their champions. Nice. Right, so yeah, they're going to probably try and march back around on us. But it's not going to matter because we're just going to siege down at their capital, which shouldn't take too long. Excessive tariffs, that... Reminds me, we've not actually looked at our council, have we? Which is very, very bad of me. Um, we don't have no available spouses. He's elsewhere. Um, what should we do with our Majadija? So this is our priest. Um, she's also a champion, a rational a zealot. Um, what can we do? We can fabricate claims, or we can get you to improve religious relations. We don't need to convert any faiths at present. So let's, let's get you to fabricate a claim. Now, where did... Where did the borders end for the lands that we want to conquer? Let's have a look at this quickly. So the empire title, no, the kingdom title goes over to here. So we want to try and get a claim on this land here then, don't we? To try and get to the border of the lands that we want to take. So let's have a look. We want you to fabricate a claim on this duchy here. Perfect. Got three years to do that apparently. Our chancellor, do we have a better chancellor? You're not amazing, are you? No, no you are... Appear to be our best chancellor. Our steward. Nine stewardship. Do we have anyone better? Yes, we do. Our brother-in-law. So we'll assign him to the task. He's got much better stewardship. So, yeah, we'll just get you to collect tax. Then again, we could increase the development in our capital. Let's go with that instead. Let's try and increase how good our capital is and try and build it up. Um, our spy master. Disrupt schemes for now. Yes, that's fine. And our marshal. We'll just get you to organise our levies. That is also completely fine. We do need to find a position. 
as well once we finish this at war, which shouldn't take long, as we said. Let's get it back to the normal screen titles. But yeah, it's going to be really, it'd be really cool to unite all of these Central African lands. It'd be really awesome. And yeah, I don't know. I just seen it on the screen and I was really interested in it. I wanted to try and play as something a bit different to what everybody else is doing. A lot of people are saying are doing quite similar playthroughs as he hasn't got enough men to siege that, has he? Which is good. But yeah, I wanted to do something a bit different. Not just for the channel and the views, but also just something different for myself. I always said I wanted to do more on CK2 in Africa and the Middle East and such, but I never did. So I wanted to make sure that I didn't just keep putting it off with CK3. So I've dived, just thought I'd dive straight in with it. And we can enforce our demands, which is perfect. There we go. Greetings, High Chief Des Durama of Kano. May you live in harmony and contentment. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. So be it. We gain 75 fame. Our allies share in that fame. There wasn't any allies involved. Um, so perfect. That's awesome. 75 fame, 75 prestige. We can... Disband our army for now. Let it recover a little bit. And then we could go raiding. So we've expanded our lands nicely. We can go to war with this land here as well. But I don't know how strong he is. That's a lot of lands. So I'm guessing he's probably a little bit stronger. Than... No, he's only got 17. Uh, 717 men. We can declare war on him to counter the... Du county, uh, um, conquer the county. And that's a lot of land in that count. Oh, no. We take this bit of land which would put him in the middle. So I'd rather wait till we can go for the duchy. Which only costs us... 250 pirates. So why can't we do it? Ah, we're less than illustrious, so we need to be illustrious to do that. That's fine. Um, we'll let our armies recover for a little while. And then I think we'll go and do some raiding. Return to the... Yeah, let's return back to normal. I think we'll go and do some raiding. Maybe raid up this northern land. I don't think I want to raid from this kingdom, because I'm guessing they're quite powerful. They're actually not. 800 men, so we probably could get away with raiding them. Uh, we've not got a great amount of gold, so we could probably do with a bit of gold. We've got an empty counts position. Our steward. Where did our steward go? Okay, so we're going to have to assign the person who was in it before. So that's probably going to upset him. And yet yeah, we'll keep you doing what you're doing, trying to increase our capital. So yeah, let's go and do a bit of raiding. Let's try and earn ourselves some money. So let's raise all of our raiders. It looks like we're going to get quite a few raiders. Wow, 1,100 raiders. Perfect. Right, let's go. What are the lands like up here? We've got an oasis. The barren uh, it's an oasis terrain. That looks awesome. Um, tribe of Takakida, 15 gold here. And the tribe of Agadez, that's only 3 gold. So it might not be worth traveling all the way up there for 15 gold. So let's have a look at these other ones here. 13 gold. Uh, we've got a barony here, 15 gold. So it looks like we're going to be better off going out eastward. So let's march onto the tribe of Munio. Um, I do apologise about these pronunciations, guys. Please, let me know how to say them properly. I'm not trying to uh, say them wrong on purpose or anything. I try my best. I struggle with English half the time, so... Yeah. Oh my god, we're going to lose a lot of men by marching there, though. So can we instead raid here? We're going to lose men by going there. Will we lose men by raiding up here? No, we won't. So we'll, we will go that way instead. Then I don't want to lose too many raiders, because if we get attacked, it could work bad in our favour if some big army comes at us and... What sort of battle have we got going on here? The Chieftain of Kebi. Okay, so we've got some sort of war going on over there. Ah, these here. Okay. Uh, you become the culture head of the Horsa culture. Awesome. That is cool. So we're the we're the head of the whole culture. That's interesting. So uh, the rule of this culture that has the most Horsa court counties in their realm. Okay, so that's interesting. I wonder what we can do we can do with this then by doing this it's awesome that we have canoes to go raiding with which would be interesting i would like to try and reform some of the religion and culture that would be really really cool to do so yeah let's march our raiders up north to get on with some raiding we've got low county control in gabir so let's um send our master at arms over there then or what would our master at arms be called just our marshal let's get him to increase our control over there Perfect. Hopefully improving things. We do need to search for a physician. We can't. Yep, we can. There we go. Hopefully we'll find ourselves a decent physician. We can seek aid of the spirits. Oh, nice. Holy mystical communion. There's some really interesting decisions here that we can make that I'm looking forward to do. We can go on a pilgrimage, which would be cool as well. This is going to be also what can we found a holy order, unite Africa, adopt feudal weight. Right, we've got some really interesting things there, which is cool. I can't wait to play around with. Right, let's 
speed things up then so we can go and get up to where we're doing our siege. The world is full of dangers, even to our high chiefess and her court. As per my request, my servants have inquired after recommendations. Now they have assembled a few options to choose from. So we have Masud. Okay, so we've got a Muslim guy here with 14 martial. He's reckless, a skilled tactician, forgiving, content, and wrathful. We have Dawood, um, who is a blade master, a cautious leader. None of these are actually physicians. And they're going to cost quite a bit to get on both. And we don't have much. Both of them fail to impress me. Let's try and find a different physician. I'd like to find one of our culture, if we could. Um, yeah, we're sorting that out. We can take another consort, which is interesting. Um, there wasn't really anyone that decent though so we'll leave it for now suggestion that we raid we are raiding we'll go up here and raid this it's not really worth raiding this for two gold we could march around up here though 15 gold there so we won oh, 16 gold there interesting so we could go over there to raid i won't get too greedy and try and raid too much because i don't want us to get caught off guard so yeah let's just do a bit of raiding here 15 God, we could go back down and raid these lands to the west. They, they don't seem to have much in the way of valuables, though. So it's probably not worth it, to be honest. But there we go. We've successfully raided this land. Can we raid up in these maps? We will lose men by raiding up there. So what we'll do, we'll march back home with our 15 gold. That'll do for now. And then we can maybe go out westward and do a little bit more raiding. Um... Should we take another consort? There's got to be a decent one in here somewhere with some decent traits, maybe. A champion. Mm, it's not really. Our chancellor, why not? We'll take you on as our concubine. Let's try and get lots of heirs. Lots of children and lots of potential lords to go underneath us or tribal um, commanders and such. So at least we're bringing 15 gold home. Every little will help. Our raiders bring back 15 gold. Perfect. Now, we, we will. We'll go out raiding out east. Why not? Let's see what sort of money we can get. It's just that penalty. Hostile county. It will result in 100 casualties, which is not good. Um, To the abhorrent um, High Chief Des Durama, I have been corresponding with your Chancellor, Otuma, and it has been a shameful diplomatic display. You are not the woman I thought you were. Okay, this has to be some terrible misunderstanding. Do you know what? Actually, we will disband our armor. We won't do any more raiding yet until we've got more men. Let's... Well, how much do we need to get to Illustrious? We're only established at the moment, so we've got a while until then. So we can only go for the counter. We've took this land. Can we go to war with you? We're trying to fabricate a claim on your land. We can actually go to war with you, though, to conquer that counter. But we're trying to get a claim on that. Um, that's obviously our husband's lands. We do have this land here. Let's have a look. If we declare war on you, conquer the county. It's going to leave that in the middle. I suppose it wouldn't be too bad. It does give us a bit of land, and then we, we could at least cut off the borders then, can't we, to stop those westerners in Ghana and such coming over here and taking these lands. So, what do we need to do to subjugate? Oh, wow, we need 500 prestige. So, no, we won't go for that. Um, Let's, instead, because we can go for that county, let's... Hmm, let's move our... You know, you're already fabricating a claim, though, so it would be a bit of a waste, wouldn't it? We can go to war for you, declare war, conquer that counter. But we already have a claim on it, so it seems like a bit of a waste. We're already trying to get that claim. But we can do it, so, yeah, let's do that. Let's, um... Yeah, we'll do it, and then we'll decide what to do with our um, count, our um, priestess afterwards. So let's declare war. Let's try and get this. We'll try and get ourselves a bit of land early on before we let things settle. We need to try and keep our culture safe, don't we? So we want to try and get as much of this land before it gets conquered and converted by other tribes out west. It'd be interesting to see what other sort of religions are around there. Like I said, don't. Please let me know more down in the comments about this culture and these people because I'm really interested to learn more. We can call our allies in, but I don't think we're going to need to. We should be able to win any battle anyway. Yes, potential battle in 11 days. You'll probably win better armor, better commanders, better sol more soldiers. So, yeah, it should be a very easy win to win this war. 
pregnancy. A child is growing in my womb. My, cons uh, my consort of Tuma will be proud. Awesome. Child on the way already. Very nice. It's always awesome when you can have consorts or concubines and you can just get all those kids uh, born as quickly as possible. And awesome, we've caught the guy as prisoner, the chief. So we can go straight for enforcing demands. Greetings, High Chief Des Durama of Kano. May you live in harmony and contentment. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. Perfect, so be it. So that expands our lands. So let's disband that army. We didn't even have to get a siege underway, which is perfect. Um, we can create the Duchy of Gabir, but that's probably going to cost us more money than we can afford. And it only costs 75 gold. That's not bad at all. So the duchies are quite cheap. That's perfect. That would give us two duchies as well. Oh no, so the land that we actually own isn't... Is that actually not its own... Is it not its own duchy? It's actually not. We're just sort of in the middle of two duchies, which is interesting. Right, so let's move our... Let's move you to fabricate a claim on... Let's go for these lands on the border then instead now. Let's go back to the normal view. Dora is spreading nicely, which is good. We can go to war with you, but I'm not going to do that yet. I want to create this High Lordship first, or this duchy. Because that's me playing too much Game of Thrones, CK2. Um, what army is this? Is that Raiders? Looks like it could be some Raiders. We could go for a little bit of raiding, just to earn a bit more gold. There we go, we've got our 75 gold. So let's create the Duchy of Gabir. Create title. Send. You are now a mighty Magigia. Perfect, we've gained a rank, which is awesome. Um, suggestion, fabricate a claim on the chieftain of Sokoto. Yeah, we should have done that, actually, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's move, let's go for that one instead, because that was the one that we couldn't actually get. So let's go for that. Let's probably get a claim on the county. Yes, perfect. Do you know what I want to do? What I've not actually done yet on this game. I've not really messed around much in the barber shop. So let's let's see what we can do. So hair. What could we go? Crown break. No, I don't really like that. Um, so I didn't really change much about it. There wasn't really a lot of variety that we could do with her clothing and such. Now maybe we'll unlock more. As we go forward. And we've almost unlocked a new point on the tree. Which is perfect. Maybe by having a child that will improve that. There's not really much else we can do. We can declare war. But I don't want to go all guns blazing in and declare war too much. I'd rather wait until we have claims for both of these duchies here. And try and take both of them together. But at least we do now have two. We are on our domain limit though. We've got, um, let's go for a, a decision. Why not? Let's go. What can we do? Hold mystical communion. You're the only one who truly knows. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's see what happens if we do this, because this sounds really interesting. I will reach for the presence of Bury the Transfixed Ecstasy. Um, oh, we've had a daughter born. Let's name her after our mother, Shawata. May you grow to be strong and wise, my daughter. Um, so what do we get from this? We gain 300 learning lifestyle. You gain divine guidance for five years. There may be unforeseen side effects. Hold mystical communion will be unavailable for five years. Requirement, it costs us 100 piety. Um, what about if we seek aid of the spirits? Spirits inhabit the world all around us. Some helpful, some malevolent, and some indifferent to human lives. I can ask my magid, um, magaja to call upon them to aid me in my endeavours, but there is no telling what the outcome will be. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Let's see what happens. This sounds really interesting. My Magajar day brings me to a peaceful glade near a small stream, the steady trickle of water over the rocks creating a relaxing ambience. The spirits like it here, Durama. This is the best place for us to petition them for aid. Holding up two baskets Dea brought with her, she adds, Now we must decide on what kind of offering we shall leave for them. A grand offering of Kauri's fruit and Myra. Um, 75 gold, definitely take note. A traditional libation of grain... Um, offering back into my presence here in North Light to be offended. On second thought, let us avoid. Okay, we've not got a lot of gold, but let's go for a grand offering. We can also always get some gold back from the raid. Let's see what happens if we leave a grand offering. Dea pours my offering on, out onto the ground and starts walking around it in circles. Oh, spirits, hear me. I call upon you to grant your aid to the petitioner. Dea chants. She begins moving faster, dancing now, her movement becoming more frantic, sweat shining on her face. Eventually, she reaches a crescendo, barely finishing the dance before collapsing to the ground in exhaustion. With the conclusion of the ceremony, I feel different, altered somehow. I feel trapped within my own body. You gain the trait possessed. Wasn't that actually good for our piety, though? I'm pretty sure possessed was a good trait for us. 
Yes, it's virtuous to us. It gives everyone a plus 20 opinion of us. And it puts our piety up by two a month. That is awesome. Perfect. That worked perfectly then. And we've got an available perk to spend. Each alliance grants plus one. Um, forced vassal. You're able to use the forced vassalization. Foreign affairs effect. Let's go for the forced vassalization. Try that out. Which is interesting. Does that mean we can actually go to some of these people now and just say I, we want to vassalize them? What what would happen if we tried to do that? What other issues have we got? We're in debt. I know we are. We're going to sort that out. Don't worry. So could I go to these and say we can't offer vassalize? Can I force vassalization? Oh, we can't go to war because we're in debt, can we? So let's forward thing. Let's raise our raiders and we'll do a little bit of raiding again. Raise all of our raiders. We've got quite a few now that we've took a couple of uh, provinces. We've got quite a decent amount of raiders so let's send these 1000 raiders let's send them west we are probably going to lose some men by doing it but hopefully we'll gain i don't know there's only zero gold there to be taken they've already been raided okay where can we where are we going to be able to raid there's 19 gold over there that's quite a way away that's our husband's land so we don't want to raid that we've already raided up here we're going to have to go right over here and hope that we don't get caught by anyone. Because that's the only place where we can get. Unless we go west. What is there to raid west? Been raided. Been Everyone's been raided already. <laughs> Literally everywhere around us that has been raided like mad. Um, we're going to have to go east then. It's our only option. So let's go raiding out east and hope for, that we don't bump into any... Um, potential enemies because we really need to get ourselves some money and our manager has died so we now have a new manager um efficient count taxes so we're only a little bit in debt now so we made money quite quickly um let's have a look yep you're still carrying on with what we wanted you to do aren't you that's fine as long as we're still trying to fabricate that claim so we're going over to bornu where we're going to raid this land we are going to lose men on the way there but so it means we're not going to be able to bring a massive amount of gold back maybe carry a total of about 80 gold but that's fine it's better than nothing my son and heir Boa is an unusually calm child when the other where when the others play their wild game Boa often withdraws to come to some silent corner he does not speak a lot but i can tell he is always thinking about something he's got free intrigue to diplomacy let's take him on as our own ward now then and see what we can do he will not accept our husband's not willing to accept that. Interesting. I wonder what's on his mind. Well, that's a shame. Hopefully we can get away with raiding some of these provinces. 15 there, 15 there. Yes, we could raid these three provinces and get a decent amount of gold. There is an army there. 34 days to raid this. So let's just forward that along a little bit quicker. There we go. That gets us a little bit of gold. Is this an enemy army? It's a neutral army. So... Let's raid this other province here along this river. We've got some floodplains here, which are interesting. I wonder what sort of um, bonuses or disadvantages we get from that. But we'll, we'll raid here. Oh, there's no raid loot here now because it's just been raided. So let's raid the tribe of Garamele. And there's another one there as well, which we could raid for 15 gold. And then we could come the long way back home. It may be safer to do that as there doesn't look like there's much up here. So we probably would be safer to go that way home, to be honest. I don't want to try and get too greedy. I did that on our Ivar the Boneless playthrough the other day, where I had very, very successful raiding in northern France. And then we went, decided to go over to Holland and northern Germany to do a little bit more raiding, even though we had plenty of gold. And then I got my arse handed to me by the Holy Roman Empire. Well, not the, it'd be East, East Francia, wasn't it? Right, so we're raiding still. There is an army coming. But it, oh, it is a hostile army as well, so we need to be careful. Let's go over here and raid. We'll lose a lot of men by doing so. We've also captured some prisoners, which is good. So we can hopefully ransom them, gaining us a little bit of money. This will be our last province. We'll raid here, and then we'll get our men home with our gold. We've got 34 gold. Uh, my mortal body. Magia or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke, coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. Send for a physician now. We're ill. Oh, perfect. It does my luck to die this early. Right, we'll finish this raid. 33 days. Finally, my servants have found some people who might be fit to serve as a court physician. Okay, these look a bit more like it. Perfect. One of actually our religion. I would like one of our religions. So let's have a look at you. A thrifty clerk, cynical, content, and arrogant. And then you are a eager reveler, an Amazonian. 
A grey emissance, calm, honest, and cynical. Wow, you're very good. 21 diplomacy. The other one has better learning, though. How much are either of you going to cost? 50 gold. 15 gold for the one with the good uh, diplomacy. Um, yes, we'll go for you, because we don't have a great amount of gold at present. We will have once we raid this land. Time for treatment. Do no more than what is necessary. Um, a little brighter. Aliar insisted that my humours were out of balance and that the best way to restore them would be through bloodletting. After consulting the um, astronomical chart, she decided that I should be bled from my armpits and temples. The bloodletting turned out to be just what was needed. For now, the worst of the symptoms are elevated and the world seems a little brighter. Excellent work. Have we nearly raided this yet? I don't want to get caught by a hostile army. Is that the army of this land? Yes, it is. So that's probably going to... Probably going to come after us. We should probably leave. Quit while we're, he we're ahead. Or do I just wait and hope for the best? Yeah, it's going to attack us. Potential battle in eight days. Can we get away? No, we're going to... I've done it again, haven't I? Run! No, we got caught. Never mind. We can go raiding after. That was a... I always do that. I get a little bit too greedy. I think, oh, just one more province. One more province. So now we're going to lose all that loot, which is not good. Probably our whole, our whole army. Yes, we lost all our loot. Defeat. We can ransom somebody, though, which... Wow, 50 gold. Yeah, perfect. Okay, well, at least we get 50 gold out of it. To the Serene Majajaya Durama of Kabir, I accept your ransom. A good deal. 50, wow, perfect. Okay, well, that's better than nothing, isn't it? Let's bring our... Yeah, we'll bring our men home then and disband them. But I think we'll end the first episode here, guys. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and comment down below. And don't forget to let me know a little bit more about this fascinating culture and religion that we have going on here. I'd love to learn more about it as we go through this series from anyone who does know a little bit more about it. I'd really appreciate that. Um, hopefully I'll see you all very soon for the next episode.